Our first Peabody goes to a radio program that investigated the death of a young boy in a Chicago housing project. The reporters, however, were then 16 years old and had lived across the street, and it's their mixture of youth and horror that gave new insight into a death and its aftermath. This is Lloyd Noon, and I'm in the 10th grade at Phillips High School. And this is Lee Allen Jones, and I'm in the 11th grade at King High School. Back on the scene at the Ida B. Wells Housing Development. One abandoned building, two. With a tape recorder and microphone. Let you hear sounds of the ghetto. No, I ain't gonna say. I'm, I'm a reporter. Thursday, October 13th, 1994. Eric Morris, five years old, was dropped out of a 14 story window by two other boys because Eric wouldn't steal candy for them. Uh, the day we're here with the half brother of Eric Morris and the mother of Eric Morris. First, I want to say thank you from my heart for you agreeing to do this interview with us. I'm just thankful. What's one of your fondest memories, Eric, that just, you know, just, just doesn't leave your mind? Tell a lot of jokes. <laughs> the joker? Yes, he was. <laughs> Kept me laughing. Just always say little humorous things. I always think about it. I think about him every day. So he kept me smiling and laughing. And that just keep me going on in life. Here to accept are the two reporters of the program, Lee Allen Jones and Lloyd Newman. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to David Isay and Lloyd Newman, uh, everybody here that came here from Chicago to see me, my teachers in, at King High School, Earl King with the Notable Express Foundation. We, I'm gladly to say, accept this award. One thing that I have to say is that I experienced my 18th birth, birthday Thursday, May 8th, and I don't know which is greater, receiving such a prestigious award or reaching it to my 18th birthday. I don't know what's greater. And I want to tell every young kid out there, no matter how much income you have or how bad it is, your outcome can be great. Thank you. <laughs>